Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, I wanted to show you guys how to make really easy candle holders and this is a part two video. So I'll link the first one I did down in the description box below. So let's just get started. All right guys, so for this project, I'm gonna be trying out Crayola's air dry clay. I've never used it before, so we'll see how well it works. So for this first candle holder, take out a good amount of clay and then shape it into a big ball. Here's my ball and now I'm going to take a little bit more clay and make a smaller ball and then I'm going to flatten it out just using my hands and this is going to be the bottom of our candle holder. I'm going to add some water to both the flat rounded circle we have and the regular circle and then I'm going to place our circle on top of it and press gently down so that they will stick together and then here is basically our first candle holder. Now I'm going to take a tapered candle and I'm going to gently press it on top of our circle so we can kind of like indent how wide I should make the hole in our circle. Using my loop tool, I'm just going to scrape out some of that clay in the middle for our candle to fit in there. Right here, I'm just taking some water on my finger and then smoothing out the top. I'm taking my taper candle and kind of like wiggling it around there to loosen up the hole a little bit more because air dry clay shrinks and once this is dry, you still want your candle to fit in there. So make the hole just a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna smooth out our candle holder one last time and then set this aside to dry. Take some more clay and we're going to roll it into a pole. Using my steel scraper, I'm just going to cut the ends off. Right here, I'm just checking to make sure that my pole is wide enough for me to fit my candle in there. Once again, I'm taking my loop tool and I'm just going to scrape out that clay from the middle. Here, I'm just making sure to loosen that hole up a little bit more with my tapered candle. I'm gonna take a small amount of clay and roll it into a ball and then flatten it out. And this is gonna be the bottom of our candle holder. I'm taking some water in my hands and I'm just gonna smooth out the top of our candle holder. And then right here, I decided I wanted to make this candle holder like squiggly. And so that's what I'm doing, just giving it a like slight squiggle, nothing too crazy. We're just gonna place our squiggle on top of our flat circle and then your candle holder should stand up like this. And then once again, I'm loosening up that hole on the top. I'm 
I'm taking these little bits of clay that you guys see right here and I'm just gonna place them all around the bottom base of our candle holder and then I'm just gonna blend it all together to make it look like one piece using my molding tool and you could totally use your fingers too. After a little bit of blending, you should have something that looks like this and then set it aside to dry. Okay guys, so take some more clay and once again roll it into a pole and make sure that this one is kind of like chunky. I'm gonna take my steel scraper and cut the ends off to make them even. Now I'm going to shape this into a circle and I found it easier to connect the ends if I cut them like at an angle like parallel to each other and then I just blended it together using my fingers. Now I'm just going to take my taper candle and press it onto the clay to indent how wide I should make the hole and then scrape out that clay. Again, take a small amount of clay and roll it into a circle and then flatten it out and this is going to be the bottom of our candle holder. I added some water to make it tacky and now I'm going to connect the two pieces together and this is what you should be left with. Now I'm just taking some water in my hands and smoothing out everything and then I'm going to let this dry. 12 seconds later. So here are our candle holders dry and I did want to show you guys that there was a little bit of cracking on one of the candle holders. You can see right here and then right here. It's nothing too deep or too crazy and I'm pretty sure if I wanted to like sand this down it would totally get rid of the cracks. Also there were a little bit of like tiny holes that showed up on this candle holder but once again it's like nothing too crazy. Alright so now it's time to paint these and I'm going to paint all of them a really light beige color. Here they are after two coats and I did add a little bit of white paint to the mix to make it a bit lighter. Using some brown paint I'm going to speckle these. I'm 
I'm gonna take my triple thick gloss glaze, which I love so much, and I'm gonna seal these. And then we're done guys and these little candle holders are super cute i love them so much and they were also super fast and easy to make Okay guys, so I really hope that you guys try some of these out and let me know if you have any questions. Um, I will say that other than like the really slight cracking that only happened on one of the candle holders and like those tiny holes that I showed you guys, this Crayola clay is a pretty good clay if you're a beginner because it's really easy to work with and it's like fairly cheap. Like those little mistakes were easily covered with paint. Anyways, um, subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!